So he thinks maybe you just accidentally left something on. I don't know. So I think that was all I had to check them out. Yeah, we had yeah, another problem. I think somebody on um, uh, Red Valley is, that got their water shut off is um, using the neighbor's water, so we were taking care of that too. Bill, how are you? Hi, Billy. Robert. Who's that guy? It's your sheep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell from this angle. <laughs> Yeah. 
right there in front of you. Yeah, I saw them. They all came in. Yep. And then there's also two electrical proposals behind there that came in this evening. Where, where would we cover those? Those are underneath. Um, They'll be in my report. Kelly's going to talk about the electrical okay. and the aerators, and then Roger has his own under rate study under unfinished business. All right. Thank you. Our engineer, Roger Titano, now present. Next item of business will be the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting on May 26. Excuse me. Let's back up. Bill's table. First item will be a claims request form of 6915 in the amount of $11,562.42. Request of six nine eleven five sixty two forty two. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Jackie, are you, are you opposed yeah. or for? For. Yeah, she's for. Okay. Opposed? Aye. 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 The vote was three to two for approval of the voucher. Claims request form in the amount of six twenty three fifteen in the amount of five thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and sixty seven cents. Make a motion to accept. Then moved and seconded to approve to approve the claims request form in six twenty three fifteen. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Claims request form for six twenty three fifty in the amount of one thousand twenty five dollars and eighty five cents. What is uh, replenishing? What are we replenishing? Oh, petty cash. Um, the, um, on your petty cash that's in the board packet, mm -hmm. um, there is. Let's see. Well, how much do we keep in petty cash? A thousand. Okay, so, so we have a box with a thousand dollars in it, and there's some things that Brenda needs to buy. So when it goes oh, down yeah, five hundred, yeah. she replenishes. So it. that's what mean it replenishes. The auditor uh, forces makes us do it once a month. And then we report to you on the in, on monthly as to what's been spent out of that. Any other questions? That was on the last claims request. Correct. All right. Now with that, we have. A, Motion for claims request form in the amount of $1,025.85. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Tom? I didn't oh. I. Unanimous? Excuse me. Zoom here. Now we'll try this again. Approval of the minutes of our regular meeting on May 26th. That's a move. Moved and seconded to approve the regular meeting minutes of May 26, 2015. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It was unanimous. <coughs> Miscellaneous. The financial reports. This will be a year to date expense for anybody to review and approve. <coughs> so, your first one is for water. And at water, you are tracking about 25% um, on your budget, and we're about 44% through the year. Any questions on water? And then on wastewater, on wastewater, you're tracking at 29% of your budget, and again, we're about 44% of the way through the year. Any questions on wastewater? Motion to accept. Moved and seconded to approve the year-to-date expense. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Treasury report. This is also for approval. Yep, this is for the 
this is just um, <clears throat> for Whatcom County for the funds held with Whatcom County. So balance is back to this books, balance is back to our cash position. And approve on the second. Second. Then moved and seconded to approve the treasurer's report. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Cash position. I know this is a review on. Yep, this is just, um, as you can see, last month we took out 30000 out of our general fund, put it into our capital projects. Um, so that's just your total funds available. Any questions? Petty cash, this requires approval. Yep, so there was $91 in visa charges, um, $72 uh, for a lien release, and then $100 in the visa account. We approve all three checks going to $63.90. Thank you. Moved and seconded to approve the petty cash report in the amount of $263.90. All those in favor? Aye. All right. All right. Unanimous? <coughs> Collections report. This is a review only. Yep, this just breaks it down between sewer and late fees, water and late fees. Um, if there was uh, any additional income and interest, and then it, down at the bottom it breaks it down by month. Any questions? Eight receivable. This is a review. Yeah, this is a review. This is uh, between May 21st and June 16th. And in the month of May, we processed 21 credit cards for uh, just a little over $3,500, which totaled just over $90 in fees for the month. Any questions? Well, this one accounts for This is a review. <laughs> So as you see, um, the account at the top has been paid off. Um, we paid that off and that was one of the checks that was written to the county was to release that lien. Um, a couple other payments. Um, and that's all I have. Um, any questions? The next item on the agenda will be the public forum. <laughs> I remind anybody to drink care to make a statement, limit your statement to three minutes, and please introduce yourself for a matter of the record. There were no comments from the members present. Water and wastewater report, Kelly. Uh, this is for May of 2015. Um, see your uh, water consumption is up by about 16 percent. Uh, well depths are normal. Um, as you know we've been uh, having some struggles with uh, one of the reservoirs um, and um, I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, last month we asked that you approve ten thousand dollars to uh, make some uh, for lack of a better term metal repairs inside the, the tanks. Um, the estimate that we had gotten from Mountain Baker Silo was $7,400 and uh, we thought there was going to be a little electrical work but we didn't have prices yet. We've got prices now, those were add-ons to your um, packet tonight. Um, that's them. Um, Everybody should have got pictures by email. So hopefully you, you understand what I'm talking about, but there's two proposals from Ackerman Electric. One is for uh, 3000 and that is just to um, install uh, a second set of uh, controls in reservoir number two. Uh, right now, we only have controls in reservoir number one, so this will allow us to operate them independently. And then the other is, uh, again, adding those controls, but cleaning up some electrical problems that are existing. So my recommendation is that we um, amend that approval that we had um, last month for $10,000 and raise that to $17,000. Uh, 
uh, to add in um, the uh, repairing the uh, additional electrical problems that are up there. That's a, uh, a J box and broken conduit, and then also uh, make those repairs to the control system. Why haven't we gotten other bids? I saw the pictures uh, that they submitted. If you think there's fifty-nine hundred dollars worth of work in those boxes, um, that wasn't being paid that well when I was an electrician. Fifty-nine hundred includes the three hundred two four for this job too, though. Yes. Yeah, well, then you got two thousand dollars to replace basically about six wires and a conduit in. Yeah, twenty-nine hundred. Happy, happy to get more additional folks. I just think it's a little steep. I, I you know, I don't know what to tell you. It's, uh, we like to use Ackerman Electric because they do it right the first time. So if there's other companies you'd like me to solicit, I'll be happy to I don't know of any, but I just looking out for the bank pot and the pocketbook for yeah. the district. Well, uh, my philosophy on that is if we do it right the first time, we're saving, we're saving money. But if we get others up here that don't understand it and do it wrong, then we've got problems. So. Um, I, I have a great deal of confidence in this particular company, and uh, uh, they're, uh, they are a union shop and uh, all of that, but um, I'm happy to get other quotes if you like. Nothing's getting cheap. No. <laughs> I didn't hear you, brother. Nothing's getting cheap. Oh. So I mean, controls on at both towers, little, and they're going to clean up all that stuff we saw in the pictures. Yes, it's it's really um, well. It's about uh, three thousand more than. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's about three thousand more than you approved. We approved uh, the, the original bill was like 75, 76. In, in round numbers, it was 75. 75, and we approved that yeah. to exceeds 10,000. Yeah. Yeah. So have, have we gone over that 75 ish? Yes. Without the electricity? Yeah, because, um, yeah, yeah right, not make your silo. We, do it all at once. Yes. We, do that. So we told them they couldn't do it all at once. Okay, all right, that's fine. I just kind of curious. Yeah. So there's this, their mobilization time. is going up a little bit. So we're still going to, you know, he said probably four or five hundred dollars. So we should be under eight thousand, and then you got tax on top of it. So, so I, I misspoke earlier. I, I would ask that you approve fifteen thousand dollars total project cost. Total project goes everything. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. If we do fifteen, I'm only looking at around thirteen. So there should be some leeway there. And I'll well, and pay the tax. There is. There is. I'll make a motion to approve the fifteen. So a second three thousand more. Moved and seconded to make the repair and the electrical on our storage tanks in the amount not to exceed fifteen thousand dollars. All those in favor? Aye. 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 No. The vote was four to one. It passes. Put a principle in this uh, so okay. if um, they want for the full electrical yes. re Get it fixed. Okay. All right. uh, wastewater, um, you all know we had problems with the aerators and we're working through those. Um, we're actually down in flow by about um, well, by about one percent. Um, so that's that's fine. Uh, it looks like our original problem with the aerators was one of electrical, uh, not necessarily of motor failure, but I'm sure the electrical cause of motor failure. So Is that this here? No, that's a spare part. Okay. It's a spare motor. I thought maybe it had yeah. something to do with that. This, this regard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any questions about wastewater? Uh, well, I, I do. Where are we now? Do we have, let's see, they're rewiring or re they, they made the repairs to the uh, electrical control system for those. Have we gotten the aerators back? Yeah. Yeah. So they're all up and running. And do we have one on the shelf yet, or is when is it forthcoming? 
I don't think that we made a decision about getting. No, there is. You want to have a motor on the shelf? Well, no, there, there should be one. Yeah, there, 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 there should be one. Yeah. Okay. What so, is it physically on the shelf yet? I'm. I forgot to check in with Ken today. Yeah, but it know. should be. Should be there. Okay. And if not, it will be by the end of the week. But I think they were done with it, and it should have been available last week, the end of last week. I, I think last month there was discussion about purchasing a whole other aerator, um, and I think we ended up with just just the motor. Yeah, just the motor. Okay. Yeah, just the motor. So that's we're in the process of dealing with that. And when, when it came out, I believe when the electrician looked at it, he said we needed before we turn the other one on, we better take a look at it. And this, it turned out to be a problem. And also, then it was just as easy to go ahead and maintain. A, Mac and Mac made the comment that. I understood it that you should go ahead and maintain them on a regular basis, you know. And it had been a while since we had done any work on the on the, on the motors or the electric. That was my understanding. I yeah. Think. Well, I mean, typically you have you basically with those motors you have one um, maintenance item and that's greasing it, and those get done once a year. Okay. Uh, so I would say that this was a, a normal wear cycle for those. Um, it, it's been a number of years since we've had any problems. Well, I heard Brenda just mentioned 2008, so yes. it's been a few yeah. years. And I, I saw something written on the whiteboard today that it is up for service um, in June of 2017. So it sounds like, I don't know if it's the electricians or Mac and Mac that's requesting two years. Um, I, I'm not sure. It, it, when you find out, you can let us know. Oh. Um, Other than that, uh, the treatment plant's running well. If we had it for a reader here, the whole thing, could Ken hook it up? Yeah. Yeah, I think, well, I, yes, he could. Well, I know I don't have um, any white privilege or anything else, but I can tell you, for the two weeks it was down, you could go out the front door and there would puke on the sidewalk in that neighborhood. Yeah. You got know, sidewalks? I have one that's coming out of my foot. Oh, okay. I never tried to make it past that. Tom, you know, I actually think that what you were smelling was turnover in the final lagoon that is not aerated. Well, the minute he got the aerator hooked up, it went away. Yeah, we had a marked improvement in the, in the area. The aerator, oh, I'll okay. say we did. Well, I, I think concurrently we were having turnover in the last lagoon, which is a natural phenomenon. We can't, we can't control that. I understand that, but I, I agree with Tom. She was, it was pretty bad. Okay. I, I think based on my experience, to have a complete aerator sitting there ready to go in, you're looking at between ten and twenty thousand dollars. Right. And I sort of favor, just my opinion, I sort of favor having the extra motor there because that yeah. seems to be that was a problem. couple three thousand or something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 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 So, but so. well, we still need to pay like Christian to come out and hook it up and put it together. No. I, no. 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 Ken's we, been doing we, it. Ken's oh, okay. Ken's I, I yeah. misunderstood. Yeah. That part. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He, he actually has a, a an electrical license for small things like that. So. And I'm not sure that has to do with the aerators, but I'm not sure what he wants to have. He asked Mac and Mac for a price to have another one of those sitting on the shelf, but you know that better than I do what that is. Uh, well, I, I haven't had a chance to talk with Ken today, but it looks like he got an estimate for a, a propeller uh, and a steel plate cage cone. Uh, so that must be a wear item on one of the aerators that is, is on its way out. And we'd like to have another one sitting on the shelf. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna withhold this until the next meeting when I can speak more clearly to it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that uh, base, we've uh, submitted our water use efficiency today. Um, we'll be doing the consumer confidence report by July. It's already done. Um, our annual total for water loss was about 13%, which under the circumstances I think is good. Again, our, our threshold is 10%. Um, 
but we had some leaks, and so that bumped us up a little bit. But the leaks have been fixed, and yeah. this is over in due time. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, and I apologize for odors. Um, well. We'll do our best. No, no, I mean, we've lived down there for 10 years, so we're kind of used to it yeah. when those things go off. And it usually happens when it gets a real hot day after being very cold. But it only, it only lasts for about 12 hours. Yeah, this was continuous. Yeah, it was so, about continuous. <laughs> well, and it'll be interesting to see what happens this weekend because it's going to crank up. The heat system will crank up to see if there's any more turnover in that. Okay, you talk. <laughs> Really good. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Well, you too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I think the good news is we should be able to uh, not have those kind of problems in the future because we can throw another motor on right away. Yeah. So. Thank you. The business management report, Brenda. Well, you don't have anything else going? I don't. <clears throat> um, I don't know that I have anything. I did your WUE today. Your CCRs went out a couple months ago. Um, was there a meeting log? No. Okay, I'll email that out. Um, I'll email that out uh, Thursday. And then other than that, I don't think... I can't think of anything else. Any other questions or comments? Okay, we'll move on to unfinished business and the rate study. Okay, uh, last time the question was asked about <clears throat> high users and you know, if the district wanted to go to some sort of consumption rate or commodity rate, what uh, a, a high user would, would use. So I think what you have is a copy of a spreadsheet that I, I pulled together. And what it, what it shows is that about 91% of your customers use 10,000 gallons a month or less, and, and the bulk of those are on the less side. There's about almost 5% that use between 10 and 12, and there's about 4.5% that use anywhere from 12 to 30,000 gallons a month. Um, I, look, I looked at the, at the raw data, the three years of data, and you know the highest user uses just under 30,000, but that property clearly had a leak for three or four months on like two different occasions because they're like zero use, zero use, zero use, 5,000, 6,000, 170,000, 130,000, 120,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. And so um, there's nobody in the districts that, that's using 30,000 gallons a month, but because of the leaks, it averages out to be about 30,000 a month. So anyway. Um, the table at the bottom, um, I, I chose 1,500 gallons a month, um, which is on the very low end of, of, uh, of a user. Uh, 4,500, which is about equivalent to your average winter water use, which would be an indication that the, that level of water use is pretty much for indoor activities, cooking, laundry, uh, bathing, things like that. Your summertime water use is a the average is 7,100 gallons, which would indicate outside use of water, irrigation, car washing. And then I just picked 10,000, 20, and 30,000, and I ran what the monthly charge would be for all of the different uh, water districts and cities that I looked at. So that's what the table is on the right. So, um, for example, um, somebody that uses 10,000 gallons a month, which is at, the, is at the high end of the 91% of your customers, would be paying anywhere from 32 to $115 a month, depending on which jurisdiction they were in. Are you kidding me? And, and this district charges a flat 20. Now is that they charge strictly by the usage or do they have a every, flat rate and usage? Every single one of these has a base rate plus a commodity charge. Okay, all right. And, and for some of them they have a base rate and the base rate includes 300 cubic feet or 600 cubic feet. Some of them they start charging the commodity charge from zero. 
it, it varies. It's all over. It's all over the board. Every one of them is completely different from all the rest. Of them. Right. Just just roughly, but doing math here, 600 cubic feet would be roughly 4,500 yep. gallons, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's what a, a normal average household would yeah, be. Yeah. 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 It was interesting to see the difference on the charges down, you know, to the right. Yeah, it's, it's huge because some of them, you know, they have expensive water. Others, the water's relatively inexpensive until you get to really high uses and then they just hammer you. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, probably because, you know, they don't have unlimited water. Um, yeah, there's rates here of $355 a month. Right. And ours is 20. Yeah, and that would be for somebody who used 30,000 gallons a month. So, yeah. you know, this didn't include any commercial accounts. Here. This is all the, the usage in, the, in the, the table at the top left is all Whatcom County 13 single okay. family homes. Okay. The rates okay. calculated down here are all residential rates. Okay. So, I didn't, I didn't look at commercial rates. Um, usually they're higher because you have a bigger meter, so there's a bigger base charge and a bigger use charge. Um, so, for discussion purposes, you could look at this and say, you know, if you didn't want to deem, you know, a typical summer water use, you know, you want people to water their lawns and wash their cars without any penalty, you know, picking a number somewhere around seven to 10,000 would encompass almost everybody in the district uh, would be under just a base rate charge. Uh, anybody who went above that, then you could start to implement a commodity charge. But you can you can pick the number anywhere you want. Um, most of the districts, most of the other districts, um, well, Columbia Valley starts charging from the first gallon. Water District Seven, they charge from the first gallon. Water District Two charges from the first gallon. Uh, Lake Whatcom, the six, first 600 is included in the base charge. Uh, Blaine, the first 300 is in the base charge. Are talking about gallons or cubic feet? Cube, I'm sorry. Some of these are in cubic. Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Okay. Or cubic yeah. feet. Okay. Yeah. So we have to go Yeah. Thank you. Great. <laughs> so Lake Watkin, the first 4,500 is included in the base charge. For Blaine, it's the first 2,300 is included in the base charge. For Ferndale, the first 750 is included in the base charge. Um, Bellingham charges immediately. Uh, and Linden. Starts charging immediately. Uh, I think it's interesting that Columbia Valley is charging almost double what we charge anywhere you look at it. Mm -hmm. which member of the board? Do we, don't have board four, we don't have four million dollars in debt, though. Yeah, you know, well, well, have, 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 will, will you speak to that, though? I mean, yeah. what, what if we had to replace the system tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's. That's one of my concerns when I put together the rate study is that you have a 40-year-old system and you know it's not falling apart. Things break occasionally and it doesn't it doesn't last forever. Um, and so it, it's always nice to have a little money in the bank in case you have that that one incident or one major problem. Your system is simple. I mean, you've got two wells, you know, two tanks right next to each other, and a bunch of pipe in the ground. That's essentially it. Um, pipes, you know, a thousand feet of pipe doesn't all fail at once. It's usually one joint or one section of pipe that fails, and that's, you know, that's not a two hundred thousand dollar repair. You know, it's more like a, a ten thousand dollar repair. So, um, you know, there's, there's but, not but, a lot of expensive items in the system that could break that would cost you a, a huge sum of money immediately. If we had to replace the system. Tomorrow, how would we do that? <laughs> we'll have to replace the system. But if we did, I mean, we're, 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 we ought to we ought to keep it on a real what practical if, basis. Yeah. Yeah. If it was catastrophic, FEMA or somebody would step in. But I don't see it just falling apart. I, I'm I'm not aware of FEMA stepping in and rebuilding right. water systems, but I do think that we we need to be striving for self-sufficiency, and so 
it's either through the rates or taking loans. Correct. And then you got to pay back the loans and you get it through the rates. I have a question. On, on the basis of the study, mm -hmm. what year did you anticipate in our capital projects that was made in that? 2031. The 23rd year? 2031. 2031, okay. That, that's an important thing. So where do we stand if we had to replace the system in 16 years? All of the system at one time? And, and that's my point, because that's not a practical thing. No, I, 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 I agree. But yeah, I mean, the current, the current value of your system is about $1.7 million. That's the current value of the system, including, you know, pavement repair and pipes and all, all the stuff that go with the valves and everything. And all that. Okay. So we'd have to be putting $100,000 a year away. If the plan was to replace the entire system in 17 years. But it's not. I mean, it's yeah. from what I understand, we have 50 to 60 years of pipe shelf life left. And you know, yeah. uh, who that, you look at it. That would put us in a 9,800 year range. Mm -hmm. We're already 40 years old. That's right. And pipe's good for, I was told, 100 years. Yeah, it's good for 400. Or what are we? life on that well I mean pi yeah pipes pipes will easily last 50 you know sometimes they go to 100 sometimes they don't well, we don't have ductile iron pipe though yeah it depends on the type of pipe it depends on the way it was put together it depends on the quality of the pipe I mean you know the you know if if you use c905 pipe you know, we, that's, we know that's, we have PVC you have, we have that you have cement asbestos do you, I don't, do you have AC I don't I know that you have some. AC maybe I'm what? we do well, I'm not I, I, I wouldn't work. We have I, PVC. Yeah, I think most and of it's schedule 400, right? Most of it's PVC, and, and from what I understand, most of the problems that you have are, you know, probably poor construction practices back in the 70s that, you know, have damaged pipe, and you know, it's hard to find leaks in the system because the water goes on the ground. It doesn't. It doesn't bubble out through the pavement here like it does in some other places. Um, and your fittings, all your your T's and elbows and, and crosses and everything seem to not be the best construction. There was lack of bedding in the entire system. Yeah. yeah. Well, to put away $100,000, like you're saying, would cost every ratepayer here an increase of $44 on their bill for water. To put back 100000 a year? A year. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah that'd be real expensive. <clears throat> But we don't need well, to replace I mean, the whole thing. I, 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 that's that's absolutely correct. But look at the other systems and and see where they're at. Okay, is there any way that we can sit down and decide on what type of a system that we're going to have, and then see if there's anything that we can do slowly? So you know, get it taken care of a little piece at a time. I, I would like to see us take some time to study and make a very realistic capital improvement. Because it's right now, I know there's SBRs and this and that. Talk about that's waste, that's that's waste water. water. So we can't mix the two. This is only water. This is only water. We can't only water. Can't waste the two. Because we just throw out the pumps, the two towers, and the pipes. If, if, we, if we had to replace the wastewater system, we're talking about multiple a lot millions. Okay. Yeah, and the wastewater system. to make seven and a half million for. I, I think between five and seven million on wastewater. But all we're talking about here is water right now. What does what everybody think? I, I think we've really got to take a look at our capital improvement plan. And from that, well, you can base on what you're going to Yeah, we need to come to a decision of what we're going to do when all this happens. We can't just sit here and talk about what we're going to do and not even know what we're doing. You know, I mean, we got to have an idea. Are we going to do that SBR or the MBR or whatever it is? Well, that's, that's wastewater. That's waste. Okay, well. But, but Tom, here, here's, here's where we're at. We have a 40-year-old system, okay, um, we really don't have any money put away to replace it, so we're 40 years behind the eight ball. None of us are going to be here when this system, in theory, needs to be completely replaced. But the way that we're going now is those folks are going to have to go out and get the state loans if they're available and pay them back, and then the rates go up all at one time. And so 
really the, the philosophy of this district should be to be putting money away so that we don't have to burden the people in 15 or 16 or 17 years. A little bit at a time, every year. So, well again, we need to know what kind of a, well, we have a what we're going after. Are we going to replace the tanks? Are we going to replace any main line? Um, what are we going to do? Well, I, I think all you can do there is say, hey, we have X amount of footage of main line and what's it going to cost to replace it. Right now, we don't replace anything. We repair it if we had a, an area that was completely failing on a regular basis and it made more sense to replace it than we would. But we barely have enough money to do that in the bank right now. So. If anything was to fail right away, well, the most practical thing to fail would be the pumps right now? Pumps uh, and the wells. Well, yeah, we have, we, well pumps, um, you know, fail at about a, on a 10 year cycle. And they're what now? Uh, they're probably very close to that and we're, you know, we benefit because we have redundancy. We, it's not a catastrophic problem, but mm -hmm. um, to replace one of those well pumps is probably going to be ten or twenty thousand dollars. Just for the motor. Yeah. Pump. Pull it out. You got to place it. Put a new one in. Put it back down in there. <laughs> Doesn't it just fit down in the hole and pump the water up? I mean, well, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're, you're, bringing, that's a big you're, deal. you're bringing in a crane to do all that stuff. You have to take it through the roof. Yeah, you're taking a couple of days. Yeah, this one here. here has to go through the roof. Well, they they both do. So so anyway, it's, it it really is. It's it's something that you're planning for not us right now, but for people in the future. Well, first, I think we ought to make a decision on what we're going to do for the future and make some kind of a firm decision we can stick with, not only for water, but wastewater. Did, well, did, we like did a water system. We're having enough trouble. Let's stick to water right now. Tom. Didn't we have a water system? Uh, we have a capital plan for the water. Yeah. 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 There's not much. I, for one, want to take a hard look at that plan. I, I just think there's Maybe. figures in there that I don't think we can live with. Maybe you guys need to schedule a planning meeting or something, you know, to go to the capital improvements and, you know, then decide if you're going to increase the flat rate, the commodity charge, where you're going. You know, I'm still for the, for the use of charge. Yeah. I, I, I would, you have to pick those numbers, Robert. Yeah, I know, say, I know. You know. I, I really appreciate Roger making those comparisons. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, but, but that's that only gives you an idea of how far behind you are. What you really need to be doing it is based on your capital improvement plan and your O and M expenses. It needs to be a budget based rate, not comparable to other people. Because as Roger pointed out, we have a different system than some places. Yeah. Now, the capital projects that are in your water system plan now are the first five on the list. That would be valves, telemetry, tank repairs, emergency backup, and storage tank piping modifications. Those five are already in your water system plan. So some of those are already done. Yeah, yes. we're doing lots of them now. Yeah. So they need to come out. <clears throat> well, they come off the list every six years. But in six years, what's next on the hit, the hit parade? Nothing. Well, what, there's a water system plan update. And as, Otherwise, there's and the other thing what we're dealing with there. As long as the way the growth is slowed now in the area and everything else, we do not have to have a comprehensive plan for water until we exceed 1,000 services. No, no, you're wrong. We have to we have to redo the water system plan every six years. I know that, but it's a small yes, it's water a small system water plan. system plan. When you exceed 1,000 services, then you must do a comprehensive plan like we did for the sewer. Well, isn't that correct, Kelly? Uh, well, I, I, the only correction I would have to that is that we were not, it is not a legal requirement for us to do a sewer water system plan, uh, a sewer comprehensive plan. We were forced right. to do that by DOE. The water system plan, whether it's small or expanding, is required every six years. It's a, it's a law. Correct. Yes, I understand that. Okay. But there's quite a difference in cost between when it becomes more involved in the water. There, there's, there's a small water system plan versus a water system plan is, is significant. Well, I had to make a motion to table the rate study issue right now and 
uh, schedule a meeting with uh, all commissioners to do nothing but discuss some fir and firm up some plans about what we're going to do and then come back to the rate study. Because um, we need to know how much money that we're going to need to start and go forward on this. And I'm not really comfortable with paying another $43 a bill so we can put $100,000 a year away. And, and believe me, I was giving you a worst case scenario. If you decide to charge a dollar more a month, you're, you're moving ahead. Well, I don't think we ought to be ridiculous. We're, right now, we're about $10 a month behind yeah. what we should be charging from what I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's probably something we ought to catch up to right away. I, I think that it would, I would welcome the commissioners talking about that and then and hopefully moving forward with it. Or well, after the commodity. I think this is yeah. what we have to get to. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Richard? My plan would be go after the high end users, phase into um, usage base. That's going to get you more than enough revenue uh, for this dollar thing that seems to be way more important than I'm giving it credit for. Um, I want to see some capital projects that justify it because, worst case scenario, catastrophic events. Okay, I'm just not idea. Okay. But anyway, Consumption base will get you more than enough rent. So you're looking yeah. at basically doing consumption base from. I'll uh, start with the high end users, but you gotta you gotta notify these people. Oh sure. So yeah, there has to be a public hearing. Yeah, that's that's fine, but. Got a public hearing. You looking at like phase a phase into regular consumption base, just like. Starting at 4,500, yeah. 1,500. What do you think? Wow. And, and when you do that, you bring equity to everyone. Yeah. Right yeah. now, you could have a family of ten people. No, I. Yeah. Well, I, I understand that. I just say that's why I'm probably being generous when I say 10000 Well, that's yeah. what the, you know, know. if you're going to have a special meeting, that's what I would want it to be about. I just don't want to get together and they won't start picking out capital projects that mean, I mean nothing. Well, I'm not suggesting that. I was only suggesting that we decide what we're going to do to the water system. And then let's start, if there's any way to chip away at it with our resources we have, Let's start doing some of this stuff instead of getting a bill for all of it at once to the tune of a million and a half. Or something. And I, and you know, and the, the point is, is that we have been chipping away at it because look, we've replaced all the valves. Yeah. And we're now taking a look at the tanks, and we think we've solved that problem. Yeah, but that's fifteen grand. It is eighteen grand. You're right. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so. So there's a motion on the table. Um, my motion was to table the rate study until we had a chance to meet and have something firmed up about what we were going to do. I'll second that. Okay, then move to the table. To table the rate study. Okay. Go ahead. Help me out. Um, until um, we've had a chance to meet and make some kind of a decision on what we want to do with the water so we have some kind of an idea of what we want. Are you trying to schedule a special meeting? Right. Well, uh, well it's going to happen. Let's get, okay. It's been moved and seconded. The table. Uh, the table. And, but <clears throat> is there any discussion? Okay. Because my point, I think we have to identify what we're doing is let's set a date that we can get together and talk about it. Rather than the word, I don't want to take a cut word, but table means, you know, take it up the next time. And I'd like take to it up the next meeting. Yeah, if you want to wait off till next meeting, or should we try to schedule a meeting where we can sit down and get this out? We'll have to coordinate with Kelly and, and Roger. Well, it should be tabled at least until the September meeting. Give us a chance to meet. Is there any kind of information that we need from the office about this? Who said some kind of some report that we had other than what he had? Some water plan we had or something? Or a small district water plan. But that's basically what Roger has there? No. No. Not on the water system plan. Okay. We have a small water system plan, uh, a comprehensive plan. Um, if we need to get copies of that out to all of you, uh, we will. I think, well, yeah, I'm trying to think now that you, you mentioned yeah, that, I do have that. Two to three years old. Roger. Yeah, it's yeah. about that thick. Yeah. Uh, How much would it cost for you to do a study 
and come up with all we need in this in our water system plan so we know because obviously it's not covered in the small water district plan but I'm, I'm like the most specific a capital program yeah although what are we going to do the water system what are your recommendations of what we do and that's going to have to come to you and tell me sure well I mean we kind of went through that when we did the last water system plan update so um, so you can already if, I mean maybe we just need a more detailed discussion about various components and what their age is but um, I mean that's that's part of your six-year plan update is to talk about capital projects I, yeah, so I, I know it's has to be changed. <coughs> Water rate study, 7200, that's done. Valve and tank, we're about to finish that. Radio telemetry, we kind of put that off, decided we weren't going to do it. That's the end of the capital projects for water. So that's the end of the rates increase, that's yeah, it, don't that's worry right. about it. So, so that's why we need to, that's why my comments would be go to consumption base, that's going to get you immediately some new in-stream of revenue which so you're looking at the rate increase being in here. usage okay as an example yeah, yeah. that's you're looking at well, that's easily more justifiable than some of the other so, stuff over here. i heard somebody saying the last time you talked about this consumption thing that it was going to be like a, a few dollars here and there um as an example i use five thousand gallons of water one month and the base rate's four thousand uh, what's that going to cost me for that extra thousand gallons of water? Whatever we decide. Well, that's whatever. That's all up to you guys. And that's where you can start at the low. As when I was saying ten thousand, I figured a couple bucks from ten to fifteen thousand or something like that. Well, yeah, and that's not going to give us any punish, revenue. Not the punish. Not, it was not meant to, to generate revenue. That's correct. It was to get the high users to quit using the water. Right. And get some conservation. Right. That was not my idea. Of this was not to. Create revenue. I'll pay you to come down and explain that to my wife. <laughs> hey, no, this is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So, but if that's what we need to do, maybe we need to look at that. I mean, but I don't want to sit there and have a 2,000 or 3,000 gallons that somebody goes over whatever rate is and it's an extra 10 bucks. I don't want to do that kind of that's punishment. The, in my mind, that's the discussion we should be having. Yeah, some future meeting. And that's a great start. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's a place I mean, to start. That's yeah. what we need to do. So I mean, even if it's if you're looking at a low number, if it's fifty cents or a buck, I don't want to if you're using forty grand, hey, we need something that's then you're gonna pay a little more because then we know you're using abusing. Ten thousand two hundred gallons, well it might cost you anything off. But if yeah. you want to water your flower beds and everything, I don't want you to get placed for it because I like to do it with two of nice yards. I ain't, can you? I ain't sleeping in the goddamn yeah. shop no more. <laughs> 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 it's been moved and seconded to table. Anybody else got anything to say? Because it's going to take some serious discussion and we need to get on. With that said, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Uh, it was mentioned, not part of the motion, but it was mentioned that we would be talking a timeline and we would bring this up at when, Tom, you said the September meeting? I would think that it's going to take that long I'm to sure organize it all. It's going to pop up, up again. Yeah, Can we have another good. quick discussion, see if there's was having another discussion next month? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next month? All right. We'll put I mean, it on the agenda again next month. Right? Last month started with consumption. Now we got another person looking at that being part of it. We're moving. And, and, and I like your point about we're, we still want nice yards and everything yeah. like that, so we're not out to funny people, but we've got to do something about these people that are, right. like leave the hose run right. for a month. So, okay, motion's all done. Yes. Vote. All were in Oh, we already did that, sorry. It was unanimous. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, water tanks. We've already discussed that. Yeah, that's not Okay, we've discussed. That was up there. Uh, new business. Your letter to the attorney, Tom. Um, first of all, I'd like to address the commissioner's pay. Um, we decided about three or four years ago to get the, what do we call these damn things? Claims request forms. Claims request forms. Um, we were going to pay water and wastewater services because their bills were just about typical every month. And by sending them in after the board meeting, it made the check come almost a month late. And then 
we had um, utilities that were almost the same every month, and they don't come until after our meeting, so they were added on to the voucher. Um, I want to see um, commissioners pay go before this board, period. We're violating the law by not doing that because we cannot pay for something that hasn't been, you know, adjudicated before the board. And I'm not going to mention names about who did what. I'm just saying for the last time, and I'll never bring this up again, but I'm telling you that we cannot go any further allow a check to go out for commissioners before it's approved at a board meeting. It was approved. Mr. Whitson, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, okay. I don't even want to talk about it. I would like to ask for a review, but if I recall the minutes, it was in, it was sometime at the first part of the year <coughs> that, you, that you would have meetings that could be attended. And if that were the case, let's get dig those minutes out, review them, bring them forth here, and we'll have the discussion as you propose, Tom. Well, that's not working real good because not one other person got to go to this rate study meeting. I think we just paid uh, our engineers for the rate study. And uh, then, um, you know, I'm tired of this going out behind everybody's back and sneaking off to a meeting and then coming in the office. You know what? You're on thin ice, dude. You don't scare me. Okay. 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 It's it's sneaking around because I read my emails and I pay attention to what's going on. I'm sneaking around. Yeah, I got a whole list of emails and hear about all kinds of meetings that I don't go to. The fact that you choose to ignore them is, is not my problem. I'm not okay, okay, that's enough. What we have to do is get get to the point of saying, if you feel like you need to talk about it, let's talk about it. But let's do it well, in first a professional manner and first of all, you are just, not. you know, Phil, you're just as involved. We sent you over to Eastern Washington, give you lodging and mileage over there. You go for a two-week trip on vacation up to Idaho, and then you charge at the district to drive back. Is, is this fair? Okay, fine, Tom. That, that's your whole thing. If, if you, you know, it's the truth. Well, if, you know something. If you check, you can talk about the truth. But the whole thing of it was, all I was paid was the mileage to the meeting and from the meeting, of which I attended the whole time. What I do in between and it was paid on the basis of the mileage as determined by the office and what i do is completely absolutely legal and well, if i care to go on a vacation i don't quit if you want to go on a vacation and you went to a meeting i wouldn't expect you to come drive all the way back here to maple falls and then turn around and drive to montana or to idaho that's ridiculous um now. So I've said what I had to say. It's okay. on film. I don't have to do any more. Second thing is, is my letter to the attorney. I think everyone had a, a chance to read it because they said it. Tonight, after tonight, the gloves are off because I'll guarantee you I'm not going to let that resolution stay in those files. It's slanderous. It is filled with a lot of lies, and it's probably one of the most chicken shit documents I've ever seen in any business I've had anything to do with. Now, I'm going to file for a anti-harassment order against all of you and I'm going to ask for, to recover my funds. I'm tired of it. Okay, you got your way by showing off, but your showing off is going to get costly. I promise you. Because if that resolution... Uh, come on, you sat here and you read aloud in front of the camera. That's right. I'm not to look at another commissioner and make eye contact and if I see anybody from Water and Wastewater Services, I'm to lower my head and not look at them? That is not what it says. Yeah, we read got plenty of the tapes. We read, got plenty of copies read, of it. Read, we have hard copy also. And it we is have the actual tape to attention. Oh, I also well, you just have the, as the I minutes said, of the regular As meeting. I said, after okay. tonight, Look, I've been over this before. It. We've been I've, over it okay. before. It still remains the same. It's not going to be redacted the way we, it's in there. We okay. don't have the legal recourse. Okay. I'm just, I okay, only, fine. I was just trying to handle it the easy way. Okay. Fine. You have to do what you want to do. Just remember, we all represent the ratepayers. Well, there's a lot of people here that didn't really want to vote for that, Phil. You just pushed them and bullied them into it. 
And I want to tell you something. They're going to end up being the ones to say. Let, let's keep it to the subject and the truth, Tom, not your opinion. All right? I know it. With see, that, I would say. I see nothing in here that's asking us to do anything. Yeah. I don't see I'm anything. asking you that if you don't voluntarily remove that resolution from the files, I'll go have a Superior Court judge order you to remove it. Because you have, we have over 100 resolutions in that file, and not one of them mentions a human being. And we've had lots of things, Mr. Henderson, Jackie, before, and you know, we did, they did everything they could. But that's not a professional document, it's only a smear document to punish me for saying what I did about Brenda sticking up for you. All right, that's enough. We, we, we'll keep the discussion to what's the problem in fact. And uh, it'll have to stand there unless I haven't heard from Jackie or I haven't heard from Robert. Well, I'm going to warn you. Make a motion to adjourn? Um, oh. Can, I, can I just ask um, if you're going to adjourn? I just, there was that topic that Commissioner paid. Do you guys want me to get the documents for next month's meeting? I know I just transferred subjects, but you guys didn't finish the first one. You wanted to, you wanted to see the minutes. Minutes and um, all that stuff. I and asked still that want... we should look at, I can't remember what date it was, and I tell you what. No, we'll one, find them. What do you want us to gather those minutes? You want us to gather them Those minutes, minutes that, that when we talked about meetings that we would attend in the forthcoming year. Right. right. You want us to get those minutes? For, yes. For, for next okay. month. For the okay, next that's month. what I needed to know. Sorry. Make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a motion to conclude? Or do we? To conclude, excuse me, to conclude. Second, we moved and seconded to conclude the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank <laughs> you.